One of the biggest themes that's been a thread throughout my undergraduate experience is this notion of collaborative empowerment, where um, you know that the people that are either seeking your help or uh, that you know you're willingly helping is they're not they're not empty vessels coming to you just for the sake of getting that help. They have experience, they have knowledge that can enrich your assistance and your interaction with them if you take the time to listen to them and you take the time to kind of attempt to understand where they're coming from. I created a group in March of last year called Palum and Palum in the Tamil language means bridge and basically what this is, it's a, a playwriting contest that's held in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has been enduring its war for about three decades and it was only in uh, 2008, 2009 that the war started reaching another one of its heights and during this phase a lot of the civilians were killed. We use the art of playwriting as a rehabilitative tool for youth in nine secondary schools in the north. It allows them to kind of communicate their experiences through scripts and then these scripts are performed here at Penn State. So it's kind of an awareness creating project that also uses the knowledge of the youth in Sri Lanka. Allowing them to express themselves, you're not only empowering them, but you're giving that chance for them to reflect on what they've been through. It's a creative way of getting them to think a bit more about a situation that they don't necessarily know all about. Certainly not. We can bring Sri Lanka into our socialist camp. Seeing how these actors are reacting to the scripts, those are the moments when I realize like, this is what the project is doing. Like it's, it's touching people on a very individual basis in different ways. It's up to you to kind of do what humans rarely do in first meetings with other people, which is to lend your ear, give them your trust, and create this foundation of acceptance and understanding. Just what it takes to grow a country. Yes. Sir. It's the most exciting thing I think I've done here at Penn State because I didn't know that it was capable of generating this much response, this much interest, and you know, the effects are something I'm still continuing to see, how people are reacting to it, how people are learning about it, and I think it's, it's mind-boggling for me. <laughs>